So how many colors does it take so that the good person always has a winning strategy, regardless of how the other player plays? And I mean, whether it's careless, sloppy, clever, evil, doesn't matter. You want to guarantee a winning strategy for the person who wants to get it colored at the end of the day. That's the game chromatic number. Now let's go back to the desktop. And look at the theorem at the bottom of the page. With my colleague Hal Kirstead, I proved in 1994 that the game chromatic number of a planar graph is at most 33. So if you believe the four color theorem, which most people do, if you worked by yourself, you could color a planar graph with four colors. But we proved if you have an uncooperative partner that you can't trust, but you're alternating turns with his uncooperative partner, 33 colors are enough. Now, the difficult part of this theorem is that it's proving that there's any bound on the number of colors whatsoever. 33, 300, 3,000, 3 million, 10 to the 3 million. Is there any bound whatsoever? This paper, which you can find on my website, you could read in about a week. It's not that hard. You won't read it in a day, but you could read it in a week. Now, uh, for my purposes, proving that once I proved with Kirstead that there is any bound whatsoever, I lost interest in the problem because I didn't care whether the answer was 33, 32, 29, 27, but Kirstead did. Kirstead cared quite a bit. And re read the bottom of this slide first, and then I'll talk about the top. There is a, a very well-known Chinese graph theorist named Zhu Ding Zhu. And Kirstead and Zhu have been playing ping pong in the form of a running competition which has lasted for 20 years. And it is now known that the game chromatic number of a planar graph is at most 17. Now, the history is it went from 33 to 31 to 29, to 28, to 26, to 24, to 22, to 21, to 20. It stayed at 19 for about five years. And I just found out, and Kirstead had the 19. But it's like table tennis, like ping pong, whap. Kirstead hit the 19 over the table, and it sat there for a couple of years, and then Zhu went, wham, take that, and hit him with a 17. And uh, so I'm quite certain that out in Arizona, Kirstead is plotting his revenge and, and will, at some point, come up with, with something that will lower the 17. But then you know what is going to happen is that Zhu is going to hit it back. This is, again, as long as they are alive, they will keep hammering this because I don't think there is any chance that they will ever get the answer. The lower bound is 7, and that's pretty hard. In other words, you can produce a planar graph and you can produce a strategy for the bad person so that if you only have six colors, the bad person wins. And that's pretty hard. So the idea that they're ever going to get the 17 to come together with the seven at 8 or 9 or 10, forget it. It's not going to happen. So they will probably be able to play several more rounds of ping pong over the years. Uh, those papers, by the way, and I think there's like 10 of them now, they're actually quite elegant, quite nice proofs, quite, quite nice results. And, they're, and they're, they're pretty hard. They're much harder than the original 33. 